एवरीवन वेलकम टू लेक्चर्स बाय अपर्णा इन टुडेस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू डिसाइन अ कॉम्बिनेशनल सर्किट यूजिंग रोम सो आई विल रीड द क्वेश्चन डिसाइन अ सर्किट यूजिंग रोम दैट एक्सेप्ट्स अ 3 बिट नंबर एंड जनरेट्स एन आउटपुट बाइनरी नंबर इक्वल टू द स्क्वायर ऑफ द इनपुट नंबर सो इन दिस सर्किट when you give a 3 bit number at the input you should get the square of that number at the output in the binary form so the first step is to write the truth table so this truth table has four sections in the first section you have to write the 3 bit binary number In the second section, it is the decimal equivalent of the input binary number. In the third section, it is the output binary number, and in the fourth section, it is the decimal equivalent of the output binary number. First, I will fill all the input three bit numbers. So, it will be zero 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 one zero one zero zero one one. One zero zero one zero one 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 zero and one one one. Now I have to write the decimal equivalent of these numbers. It will be zero one two three four five six and seven. Next I will write the square of these numbers in this output decimal value. At the output you should get the square of these numbers. So it will be zero. One, two square is four. Three square is nine. Four square is sixteen. Five square is twenty-five. Six square is thirty-six, and seven square is forty-nine. Now, in this column, I have to write the binary equivalent of these decimal numbers. So, first, I am taking number forty-nine. so if you want to know binary to decimal and decimal to binary conversion in detail i have made a video on it i will link it in the description box just below this video so here i have to convert 49 into its binary form so i have to divide it by 2 2 2s are 4 2 4s are 8 one remainder next 2 again divided by 2 so 2 1s are 2 Two two sa four, zero is the remainder. Two six sa twelve, zero is the remainder. Again divide by two. Two three sa six, zero is the remainder. Again divide by two. Two one sa two, one remainder. Now you have to read this in the reverse form. So the binary equivalent of this decimal number is. If I read it backwards, it will be one, one, zero, 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 one. So this is the binary equivalent of this decimal number. So I have to write this number in this column. It will be one, one, zero, 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 one. Like this, I have to fill the binary equivalent of all these decimal numbers. Now we have written the truth table. Next, we have to draw the logic diagram. A ROM consists of a decoder followed by an OR array. If you want to know about ROM in detail, I have made a video on it. I will put its link in the description box. So, to the decoder, we have to give three inputs: A zero, A one, and A two. So, three inputs you have to give. So at the output there will be two raised to three. That is eight outputs for the decoder. So to the decoder you have to give three inputs, and from the decoder output you will get eight outputs. So it is a three to eight decoder. So if you draw it, it will be like this. So when the input combination A two A one A zero equal to zero 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 comes, then line zero of the decoder will be activated. When the input combination zero zero one comes, 
line 1 of the decoder will be activated and all other lines will be deactivated. Now we have to see the output side. At the output we are having 6 outputs B5, B4, B3, B2, B1 and B0. Looking at the truth table we can see that B1 is always 0. This column B1 is always 0. So we can connect the output B1 to ground. It will be like this. So now B1 is connected to ground. Also output B0, B0 is the same as input A0. These two columns are the same. So we can connect B0 to the input terminal A0. So we need or array only for the rest of the four outputs B2, B3, B4 and B5. So we will draw the four OR gates. Now consider the output function B5. Looking at the truth table we can see that B5 is logic 1 at these two input combinations. So at line 6 and at line 7 you have to put an INTO mark at line 6 and line 7. Now put INTO mark for line 4, line 5 and line 7 in B4. Line 4, line 5 and line 7. Next for B3 put INTO mark at line 3 and 5. At 3 and 5. For B2 put INTO mark at line 2 and 6. 2 and 6. So we got the internal logic diagram of the ROM for this circuit. Now if you draw it as a block diagram, it will be like this. 3 inputs and 4 outputs of the ROM. So these are the 3 inputs and these are the 4 outputs from the ROM for which ROM is used. From B2 to B5. For B1, a 0 is connected. And B0 is connected to A0. B0 is connected to A0. So this is the block diagram form of this circuit. So this is how you design a circuit using ROM. If this video has helped you, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.